Let's keep rolling. Bengals at Steelers. Open Steelers minus 16 and a half. Now minus 14 and a half. It's a couple 14s. Total open at 48. Now 45 and a half across the board. Antonio Brown, questionable. Held out of practice. Said he's undergoing tests on his injured knee. We know if he does play, he can light up one of the league's worst secondaries. James Conner, questionable. Although he's listed as questionable, full practice a full participant in practice throughout the week and fully expected to return on Sunday. Listen, the Steelers need to do something here. This is a I can't believe they're sitting here at eight, six, and one, but this is so many points. I have to think that the Bengals could keep it within 14 or 14 and a half here, especially with the injuries that the Steelers are feeling. Why don't we start with you, Whale Capper? Bengals at Steelers. You know, the Steelers. They got jobbed last week. I haven't heard a whole ton of commentary on this, but boy, that game was there for the taking in uh, New Orleans. And uh, the way it was refereed down, you know, in a couple of the key moments of that game was really a shame. Take that game away from them, take them out of the playoffs effectively. Uh, unless the uh, Browns pull off a miracle for them, uh, they will be watching the playoffs, which is good for all the other AFC teams, I guess, because the Steelers were not a team that you necessarily wanted to uh, draw. Uh, even, uh, you know, especially if you're the likes of uh, the Patriots, I guess. Um, the, uh, but I'll say this. The, uh, the Bengals are a disaster. Um, their future is an enormous question mark. They don't have a quarterback. They don't have a coach. And uh, they have a huge lack of talent, especially on the defensive side of the ball, especially in the secondary. Uh, I think the Steelers picked their number here. Um, I think this game goes under the total. Uh, this has the makings of a 33 nothing kind of a game. Um, I don't think Steelers are happy about where they sit, and I think they're going to take a little bit of their anger out on the Bengals in this one. Uh, if this goes over the total, it's because the Steelers took it over themselves. Um, the defense for the Steelers matches up very, very well with this uh, whatever iteration, you know, whatever the Bengals are doing right now, uh, anyone's guess. Um, but uh, this is a Steelers, you know, maybe they make they make they make for. Uh, uh, for a fine teaser leg, probably. Uh, then the under is probably uh, the only pregame bet I would place. Uh, but this is another one I got starred for. If uh, if this is you know well in hand at halftime, this is a nice look for another second half under. Interesting. Tasha Mayhew says Bengals plus 14 and a half. Love it. Nico says stay away. Don't know what to expect from both teams. Tomar says I'd lean under. Pitt will want to run. Shorten the game to avoid injuries. Brandon Lugo says the Bengals IR is better than their active team donnie right side Bengals at steelers what are you thinking here yeah cincinnati's a mess cincinnati's an absolute mess i don't want no part of them in this football game but having said that do you want a part of them at 14 and a half where they might be able to come back maybe the best thing that you could look at last week is the fact that cincinnati got plugged but still ends up coming back at the end of the football game scores a meaningless touchdown gets a two-point conversion but then on the back play david njoku goes down the field gets tackled at the three-yard line maybe it's a little bit different if you see them get plugged by double digits because they're going to get whacked in this football game and it's another one of those games where i sort of lean to the first half because if you are a Steeler backer right now and if you're the pittsburgh steelers there's one motivational tool you have you're really worried about what's going to happen in that baltimore game but you know what you have to do first you got to secure your game you got to level the boom. Mike Tomlin is an awful coach, and it's amazing to think. He gets a lot of support nationally. But when you look at this football, they're going to miss the playoffs with an absolutely bone-crushing pass rush, a good secondary, a Hall of Fame quarterback, one of the best offensive lines in football, and probably the best one-two combination at wide receiver. It's outrageous. And you know why? It's specifically because their head coach either, either A, can't get them up for a football game or fake punts to literally lose the game on purpose in New England, excuse me, in New Orleans on a game they absolutely had to have. He punts that football, they win the football game, but they lost. But Mike Tomlin's going to sit there and he's going to say, it's on me at the press conference and nothing is ever going to change. So I think they'll be ultra aggressive in the first half, going for everything under the sun. Two point conversions galore in this game. They're going to try to run it up. So in the second half, they can actually focus on the scoreboard to see what happens here. Minus nine and a half. There's no way this. Look, if the Steelers are three points at the half, just buckle Mike Tomlin and send him packing already. If this team doesn't show a propensity to come out and absolutely close the door like 21 to three style in the first half, they're done anyway. So I want the first half. I want to see what the Steelers are because if they come out lackluster, they're not covering the 14 and a half. If they're up 21 to three at the half, there's a good chance they'll cover, but maybe they don't need to. Maybe they rest because who knows? Maybe the Cleveland Browns are up in their football game, two touchdowns over the Ravens, and they say, hey, look, let's pull everybody back and get some rest. 
I want the Steelers first half. They'll be up double digits. And if they're not, Tomlin should just be fired before the next half even begins. <laughs> I, I like that breakdown a lot. Steelers first half does make a lot of sense. Right now, Chiefs first half, Steelers first half, both those plays make a lot of sense to me. Mikey D says Tomlin is Lombardi compared to Vance Joseph here in Colorado. Tomar says Bengals are still playing hard even though the team sucks. Harry Smith says take the under. Love the Bengals 14. Tolkien says Tomlin versus Lewis the Dumbo. The Dumbo <laughs> from Tolkien. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.